Aiming and having good crosshair placement are arguably the most important things you can learn in CS2, so naturally you'll need to have a good crosshair to start. Let's go over everything you'll need to know to be able to optimize your crosshair and find something that works best for you. The first step will be to go into your settings in game and then go to the game tab and find the crosshair settings. Here you'll find five different sliders for length, thickness, gap size, outline, and alpha. And any changes you make will be reflected in the preview up top in real time. I personally prefer to use the console to change the color with commands like CL underscore crosshair color zero being for red, while one is for green, two is for yellow, three is for blue, four for cyan, and five for magenta. You can also blend all of the colors here in settings, but I find that having only one color channel makes it easiest to spot and keep track of on screen, so I usually just stick to console. There are also three different crosshair styles that you should know of. First, there's classic, which is the dynamic moving crosshair that reacts to your current accuracy by opening and closing. You might use this if you're trying to improve your counter strafes and one taps. Then classic static is just a non-moving static version of the classic crosshair. Then we have legacy, which is obviously still in development as it's simply the same as classic static for now. Here you can also enable a center crosshair dot if you like the look of those. And lastly, there's a new feature to CS2 that a lot of people are unfamiliar with still. This feature actually allows your crosshair to follow your recoil. So if it's something you can get used to, having this enabled could potentially give you a huge advantage over your opponents who most likely haven't tried this out at all. Now it'd be best to test our new crosshair settings out on a community aim training map. So really quick, I'll show you how to get the updated version of the map aimbots. Start by downloading the map from the link below, dropping the map file into the CSGO map directory and then typing map ggp underscore aimbots into your console. And just like that, we're loaded into the CS2 version of the CSGO aimbots map. And since we can test the changes we've made really easily and in real time, we can further improve our crosshair if needed, or even play around with the follow recoil feature. Remember that this settings page will be essential to your Counter-Strike grind, so be sure to revisit it from time to time and make changes to improve what you've made. And if you need any more help, be sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and good luck making your crosshair. Subscribe.